So what are you seeing in terms of dealer presentations and the way that the exhibition booths are being set up this year and how, how might that be different than how they've been set up in the past? So this year the galleries have really been doing more, um, more intense presentations on solo uh, presentations of, of, of artists. So you'll see um, sometimes like Chance Galleries has dedicated their booth as they have been for many years on Lino Talia Pietra, which has very always been a very exciting element of SOFA. And I think that trend has followed to um, many other galleries across all materials. Um, they're doing many or large focused presentations on just one artist. And what do you see as uh, maybe uh, the future? Are you? I know that Navy Pier is going to be um, reimagined, as they're calling it. They're building a hotel. Uh, how will that affect next year's uh, Festival Hall and how it might change the show? It will not affect us at all. So we'll be at Navy Pier next year. The dates are November 5 through 8, 2015. Um, and it won't affect us in any way, thankfully. Um, they've been doing construction for the last couple of years to the facade, a little bit on the inside, but it won't affect Festival Hall or how our attendees get into the fair and ex enter and exit. Uh, it may affect us in the next couple of years and we'll, we'll adjust accordingly, but we have no plans to leave Navy Pier for the next, um, I believe it's six or seven years. Okay, great. And uh, does the Art Fair Company have any new venues, new products, new announcements about shows that might be coming up besides the November Fair in Chicago? So we don't have any, we're not ready to make any announcements quite yet. There are things in the works. Uh, we are in discussions about New York, um, other locations throughout the country. So it's certainly something to stay tuned for so that Urban Expositions and Sofa Chicago can make an, uh, an announcement about what's to come in 2015, but certainly um, maybe 2016, of course. And what about the young collector that so many people are talking about and trying to bring in? Are you seeing results that younger people are starting to come to Sofa in larger numbers? We are, we are, and we're making um, some real strides and we've been working on that for a number of years. It's hugely important to the galleries and, and very important to us. We need to cultivate uh, the next generation. Connect is certainly part of that uh, by bringing in another generation in that way. But in terms of a younger collector base, it's hugely important. So we have some ideas that we're working on for 2015 that I think will be very exciting to everybody. But we're really um, happy and very pleased with the fact that we've been able to bring in a younger audience at, at 30, 40 something. And uh, that's happened over the last two to three years. And we've been really pleased that reports back from the galleries have been that that, that collector base, that demographic is buying. So that's very exciting for 